What's going on everybody? Z-Man the Tech here, and thanks again for tuning in to Snowy Games. Uh, today we're going to be checking out a game called Infernium by the folks over at Undercoders. A huge thanks to Carlos Coronado for uh, shooting me a code here for review purposes. And uh, before we get started, I'd like to give like a brief synopsis of uh, what to expect, what the game's about. Um, and here we have, from Nintendo's site itself, Infernium, a non-linear first-person survival horror that will shake you to the core. Um, Infernium is a game filled with brutal challenges to overcome. While playing the game, you won't be able to kill or damage most of your enemies, but at the same time, running away without a second, though, is not the solution. Uh, while being chased, you will need to think and reconsider your strategy and open hidden shortcuts while the game and its lore will unfold around you in a non-linear way, making each playthrough different. Uh, from the creator of the multi-awarded indie game of the year, Mind the Path of Thalamos. If I pronounce that incorrectly, I apologize. <laughs> but um, yeah, so super excited to, to uh, go ahead and check this out. Uh, hope you are as well. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I do want to make a few changes to the sensitivity. There we go. And let's go ahead and get started. I thought it was interesting that, uh, actually before I start here, I thought it was interesting that uh, New Game Plus was available off of it. I'm not sure if that was a glitch or if it was intended, but um, pretty cool. Um, might need to look into that. But we're going to go ahead and just do the standard game here. interesting okay all right so right off the bat you can definitely see uh, a decent uh, amount of detail in the graphics and whatnot I'm pretty excited to uh, definitely see and play and feel this running on the switch it's a beautiful thing um, an unreal engine is capable of so much as we've all seen in the recent uh, recent games that have been released here I don't know what's going on with that. Some kind of a portal. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like something can see. Am I walking back there? That's weird. I've never noticed that. Oh no, it's <laughs> it's definitely something walking in that area on its own. That's interesting. Yeah. Alright. Oh, okay, this is a, uh, it's not a portal, it's kind of a tutorial. Okay. There we go. And it's definitely one of those games that basically uh, kind of throws you in <laughs> and allows you to kind of, you know, get a feel for it and figure things out on your own. So there's a lot of room for trial and error. Um, to the point where it seems like, oh, you know what? It seems like, uh, you know, it's not very, it's not a punishing game, which is good. Uh, I could get, I could become a nuisance sometimes. <laughs> it's like, oh, I failed again. So yeah, no one likes to feel like that all the time. You know, I never noticed this before. But I think it's really cool that I figured that I found it just now. Okay. And just throwing it out there. I did take a look at this beforehand to kind of see what I was up against, but I, I didn't really get very far, so. Um, so we're gonna go through this together. Now, now if I if I'm understanding this correctly, what I've gathered is that these little areas here that are outside of these doors that are blocked off um, I think you have to have enough energy or spirits or whatever they are that I'm collecting to actually uh, break those down 
But interesting, I did not notice this before until I walked backwards. Oh, look at that. I'm missing a lot of stuff here. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I already figured that out, so. You use the uh, right shoulder button to interact with things. I guess I was supposed to see that after figuring out that I could uh, teleport, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and take it on up here. Okay. Wish I could kind of take that candle with me. That would have been kind of cool. How do I get off it? Okay, there we go. All right. If I remember correctly, I think... Uh, oh. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, okay, I was right. It actually is for the uh, elevator, so... Well, at least it'll be down there. Should I end up back down there, I suppose? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, we get <laughs> so you have these red cloaked figures that, uh, that aren't very nice. You definitely would do well to uh, watch out for them. So... As far as I've been able to kind of pull up some information on this, uh, apparently it's kind of uh, something that goes based off the lore of uh, like Dante's Inferno, uh, Seven Circles of Hell kind of thing. I, I believe this might be some kind of purgatory, uh, if I'm reading into this correctly, which is very interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with him just yet. Make sure there's. And uh, that being said, I wonder if you can. You can't really jump at all, really. I think you just kind of fall off of ledges. But uh, that being said, I can see it now. It's some kind of a figure, a soul. Uh, but that being said, I wonder if you can, like, how high of a uh, of a distance can you drop from without? Uh, I can't say dying <laughs> without. Uh, I guess starting over, so to speak. I guess we'll have to test that theory. Because I really want to, I, I want to go over there with that, uh, that little body with the, or the little area with the soul there. Let's see. Let's make sure there is no jump button. Oh, look. So you can teleport with the B button and absorb things with the uh, Y button. It just works better with the shoulder buttons because and triggers because then you're not able to kind of look and turn. But that's interesting to know. Uh, all right, let's go for it. Uh... <laughs> so there's definitely a good bit of distance. But I'm wondering if you can teleport while airborne because we might have there might be a way around it. So yeah, uh, when you die, uh, again, I guess, <laughs> so to speak, there are there seems to be these uh, this area that they take you to, um, and you have to use the portal to get back. But I've never really ventured all the way. It looks like there's some that I could absorb back there, but it's just so dark over here. I guess maybe when you get a certain ways in, this will illuminate, and yeah, maybe you can kind of see what's going on back there. Just now noticed that, so I thought I would uh, point that out. And these can't be absorbed, so uh, a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll unravel itself. But yeah, you just go to this portal. And it should bring you back up top, or in the middle ground, I guess you should say. <laughs> Oh, 
like it was explaining what New Game Plus was, but it went too fast. All right. Uh, so the problem is, you can't seem to get that far um, to reach that area. So maybe you get like an ability that will allow you to, uh, I guess, teleport farther distances, things like that. As I heard, there definitely are more abilities to be had once you get it. I get a good ways in, so yeah. so that door is automatically sealed. Uh. <clears throat> All right, so. will attack you. So one thing I did figure out was that you can kind of teleport from underneath stuff too. Okay. I really want that orb, but he is not having it. So another thing I noticed that was probably apparent is uh, wherever you're trying to teleport, <clears throat> if the circle is red, you're unable to teleport there. So, oh, okay, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's the door. Oh, come on. Took a while. <laughs> All right. Now we're getting places. Okay. So I, I kind of want to show you what happens <laughs> if you get captured by this this cloaked um, entity. Um, but I'd rather get to the next checkpoint first. If I get caught, I get caught, but <laughs> um, so basically, yeah, you have really no defense against it, at least right now, as far as I know, so um, yeah, you have to kind of use your surroundings and what abilities you do have, which right now is just teleporting to uh, to escape. Okay. <laughs> So, and that is one thing I would like to request, if possible. I don't know if it's a possibility, or maybe it might be a setting that I'm missing, but uh, the ability to 360, or sorry, 180 turn, that would like, that would really help. As far as evading. But I guess that kind of helps with the aesthetic of um, how difficult or... Um, on, more on edge it would make you while playing this game so uh, I, I get the methods if if that's why it was excluded um, or if it can be included that'd be cool too all right I think I've ventured everywhere that I can in this small section okay cool I could have sworn I came from the top of somewhere before. I could be wrong, but all right. Okay, and I uh, I found out the hard way, but uh, I just wasn't paying attention when I played last time. But yeah, there there's definitely a hole there. So, but the cool thing is there's actually an orb right underneath. So, it is not without uh, 
reason. Other than the fact they try to trip you up as soon as you <laughs> come off of the, come out of that door and try to cross the bridge. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right, let's see. I wonder if I can. I, I think you can actually go over there. But I was. Yeah, that's where I've been. I've been. I, I kind of took a shortcut when I did that. So. Um, but yeah, should you need to escape back that way, uh, that is an option. So. And I believe. Uh, it really depends if you can re If your teleport can reach in here, you kind of could cut through here as well. So I guess that's what they mean by the shortcuts, too. Uh, I'd have to try it at least before I set that in stone but um see what we got now this here sadly is in some kind of other language uh, but there I did notice that there are areas that have um, a text that can be read you have to look a little closely but there actually there actually are areas uh, kind of unraveling like they said the lore and you know things that pertain to uh, I guess where this uh, protagonist actually is and um, kind of help you give you at least some kind of a, a, a better understanding, I guess you can say. Do, do, do. And there was a secret message that actually stated that some enemies are invisible, and uh, i.e. this uh, dog, beast type creature. I never walked close enough to kind of like test it, but since I'm you know taking risks right now, <laughs> nah, I, I need to get to that checkpoint first, which it isn't too far, but. Uh, I actually kind of evaded this rather simply. I don't know if there's like a, a specific way they wanted you to kind of go through this, but uh, uh, you know, it's it's non-linear and there's like you can kind of just do what you like. But I'm gonna kind of go through what I did because I did notice this blue cloaked figure and I did not approach him as I did the other. Um, but I'm wondering. Because usually, usually what it is is they're they're covering an area that you need to, to get to. Um, so I don't know. On the next playthrough, I probably might you know take a look at that and see what differences there are. So we have more text that's not readable in this section, but uh, I promise you, I did encounter some that is, and uh, it's pretty interesting uh, <laughs> literature. Oh, that scared me. I thought that was something right here. Okay, so what we will do? Let's go ahead and go ahead on and uh, head down here. So, uh, as I said, it was a little different, or at least I knew when I pulled that lever, it came back down. It opened here, and then I I proceeded down this way. Now, <coughs> what I would like to do differently. Now that I'm playing this, um, as far as, you know, a gameplay review, checking things out, is I want to take that, that area down below to see if there's any difference in what's available, you know, to kind of traverse and investigate here. Because I really am eager to see what other abilities you uh, can inhabit. The only thing I don't want to happen is to randomly encounter a cloaked enemy. Because that will put a damper on the whole thing. <laughs> you know, this looks familiar, actually. Oh! Alright. So. <laughs> so, inevitably, I've, I've, uh, I've fallen in some random hole. Kind of not okay with that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you really pay attention to the floor. As you see, you know, it's it's a little 
it's a little easy to kind of fall down into these uh these little traps here so and until sadly until you uh oh, okay it says you need three i kind of caught that um until you reach this guy these little uh fire pit deals once you interact with them and catch them on fire those are your checkpoints um but until you find the next one you will start back here but i mean it's not a huge deal um and that actually brings something uh that i want to a point that i want to bring up as well is uh i also read that um it's a persistent world so whatever changes you make they actually remain that way so so definitely um you know be careful and what things you kind of mess with um and or activate or deactivate so to speak because uh yeah they're um it will remain that way until you basically finish the game or restart it so just throwing it out there <laughs> Which is cool. I like that. It's interesting. But yeah, that 180 turn would be super crucial. So what I always do, I always wait for it to see him on this corner here. So I can kind of juke him. And it's a really eerie noise. I, I really give kudos to the sound design. No! Is it going back down? It, it is not going back down. Ugh. Woo! That was close. So, I did notice too, as you can see, they seem to be confined to whatever areas that they, uh, that they roam. Um, so in an instance like this, you can actually escape, uh, with your teleport so FYI <laughs> it's not completely over if you uh, screw up like I just did alright so like I said permanent uh, yeah, permanent um, or persistent world rather you know what I might have forgot something speaking of permanent because now that I think about it, yeah, I need to go up here. Oh, I still can't go that far. I think it's something I got to do back here. Because it, what it is, is there's actually, where, wherever you die, the, uh, the spirit orbs that you had um, will remain in that spot. So I think when I jumped off the cliff earlier, I don't think I actually went back to go retrieve that. Um, and I don't know if that counts against you um, for some of these doors that need opening or what the portals to the pathways uh, but uh, yeah interesting see now I'm, now I'm curious to go down there and mess with stuff where I've accidentally fell in that hole Sweet Jesus. I can't remember where it was. I'm not going to take any chances. Yeah, because it's so dark. You literally can't see. I think I walked down here. Ah, there's my death. That's exactly what I was talking about. So, it's not... I, I did notice this too. So, what happens... I'm a scaredy cat too. I might just leave this alone and just keep going back. Because um, <laughs> if that is true about the essence of the, you know, the souls or orbs or whatever they are that you collect, um, that you have to retrieve them. Kind of like a, on another indie game that's really good, uh, Dandara. If you haven't played that, definitely suggest that too. But uh, you, you have to retrieve your, uh, your original soul wherever you die at. Um, but as far as the amount of orbs collected, I don't know if if that orb still yields all of the uh, collection so 
But the, what I was going to say was um, I did notice that if you die somewhere differently than where you died before, the your original um, uh, spirit is, is going to be wherever you last died. So I just, I cannot confirm <laughs> if... Uh, if there's a loss of any orbs because of that. Especially if there's multiple deaths. Look at this. Ah. They really do want you to kind of explore stuff. This is cool. I didn't think to go over here last time. Now can I teleport up here? It looks like you can. Yes. Come on. There we go. Really chancing it here because... Can I... Yeah, it does not look like I can teleport there. But that's fine. Um, okay. Do do. So, another thing too... I was wondering. Oh wait, you know what? I think you can. Yes. Okay, because there were some areas further on that I got to. Look at that. That had uh, some orbs that didn't seem reachable. So you really do need to make use of that. That's really cool. Especially to be the only real ability <laughs> that you can kind of mess with besides absorbing things and activating uh, portals and doors. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice... Ah, see? It's a really nice uh, aesthetic to the game. Oh, look at this. We found some text. I have not made it in here, so I'm going to take a look at that. And if you need to uh, pause it or anything like that to kind of take a look, you're more than welcome to do so. Okay, look, I don't want to overwhelm you with information, continued Michael. Uh, for now, we at least know the place has a function at the moment. We think the place is related to hell. This is our theory. Right now, we call it Infernium. That's why we don't want to want to people interesting we don't want the people to know more until we dive deeper okay interesting let's see oh, you know what come on there we go this is cool I've, I've I've literally traversed areas that I did not think to traverse before I like it. It's interesting, though. Uh, the distance in which you can teleport, it does seem to uh, change. Um, I guess depending on where you are. I'm not sure if that's intentional or... Uh, I guess for the sake of continuing forward. It's really dark in here. I can't see anything. Come on. It's like super dark. What the heck? Okay. Alright, let's... Uh, you know what? Oh, you that's right. You can't change... Um, so, th there is one thing I'd like to mention. <laughs> right, and, that's, and it's my TV. My TV is older and... I need to replace it. But, um, yeah, basically... Make any gamma and, and brightness changes you need to do in the beginning because uh, when you... Uh, there isn't really a pause I've noticed. Um, there's a continue point, but you really need to get those checkpoints first. Um, so yeah, if you, as you can see, if you hold start, it'll go forward to a, uh, to a menu that's actually the beginning of the game, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I haven't, or at least I haven't found a pause, but... Um, when you hit the plus button and hold it. But I did notice when you hit the minus button, it puts you into photo mode, you know, and then from there you can kind of, um, you know. Oh, you know what, you could do it here. 
Speaking of me saying that. <laughs> Alright, cool. I hope it doesn't look too bad on the recording because uh, I just had to change a few settings here um, due to my TV being crappy. So, uh, Alright, excuse me on that. Alright, so now I've um, found my way through here and it definitely is starting to look, you know, uh, more like hell. <laughs> or uh, that thereof. But anywho, we're going to go ahead and move forward. About 30 minutes in here, so um, we're going to keep it going, you know. I, I kind of definitely want to see if I can get further than uh, my initial playthrough when I was testing things out on the uh, Z-Man the Tech account. I'm actually... Excuse me, I'm actually using um, my alternate account. Um, I go by Lion Shroud, so if you ever see that name float around, that is also me. <laughs> Alright, so what I did here, um, this looks to be like a map of all the areas. Uh, but what I did is I used the capture button to, you know, take a picture. Uh, I've already done it, so I'm not going to, you know, flood my... Uh, my gallery <laughs> with duplicate pictures but um yeah i don't know i'm pretty sure it's significant uh and uh, i definitely I, I just wanted to point that out you know lovely feature of the uh of the switch to have that op that option there all right so thankfully here's the checkpoint um oh. all right so I'm pretty sure, now that I've seen how they like to hide things, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few areas that could be uh, teleported to that have these orbs. I mean, it is completely essential. To have those. Right, let's see if I can teleport over here. Oh. There we go. So really, it really is kind of like a sky's the limit thing. Um, when it comes to where you can go, where you can go in this in this game. So I need to keep note of that. There's definitely one down there I need to try to reach. Um, I think I've actually been in that one from the top and I got attacked. So FYI. <laughs> I mean, I, at this point, I definitely have the... Uh, I might be able to open this. Yay. Alright, so at this point I definitely have um, a checkpoint. So it, I'm, I'm a little I'm a little more at ease when I <laughs> when I have one to where I've gotten a good distance into the game because um, that just gives you more leeway to kind of, you know, explore and and, uh, and be at fault um, out of curiosity. Which is cool. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so as I said, um, <laughs> Thankfully, I got that checkpoint. And the cool thing is, oh, so, and, and again, um, I actually did want to kind of explain what happens, or at least, you know, kind of not really explain it, but show you what happens when you get captured uh, by the, uh, oh, when you get captured by the, uh, the red cloaked or just cloaked enemies. So far, I've only just seen the red cloaked and blue cloaked, I mean, whatever that spirit thing was uh, across the way. But if you notice, I think I'm figuring this out now. So uh, the large ones you absorb, uh, they seem to disappear. I don't know if it's bad or good. I can't absorb that. I don't know why I'm trying. But uh, yeah. Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm taking note of as much as I can because this. I, it's such an interesting, uh, <laughs> an interesting game and concept. I've, I've never really played anything like this before, and it's just—it's—it's it's kind of a breath of fresh air, honestly, because 
you know, in a lot of survival horror games and things like that, you just kind of expect to uh, be using some kind of a weapon or, or you know, some, some kind of a form of a defense or attack or whatever. Um, and I, I really prefer these, you know, these type that, uh, that have that, let me see, they have that true feel of, hey, you, you're dang near defensive, or, sorry, defenseless, and, um, you know, this isn't about hacking and slashing the monsters away, it, it, and that's cool, it doesn't have to be about that all the time, um, I like that. So, as I said before, I'm kind of looking around to see, now that I know of all these areas that can possibly be reached, uh, in a different way, I'm pretty sure you can't do that, so. I'm curious about a lot more as far as how to access it, so. I wonder if you can, nope. So I know you could do here, and then it wants you to, uh, if you have enough orbs, you can open that area and go forward. So but we definitely have something here as well. Uh, says, what if the existence of hell gets scientifically certified? Uh, followed Michael. How would society react? I'm not talking about the Christian version of hell, but a place where, it's like twice but a place where a place where humans are made to wander and suffer for a reason that's what we believe this place is and that's why we don't want to explain anything to society yet so who's society i guess i just meant society in general uh not until we investigate more marina dennis didn't die for nothing hmm. Mar marina dennis okay and there's a number convention behind that. There's always like an M comma number. I don't know, but just little details I'm trying to pick up on. Uh, you know, I see a point of access down there. And I think that's where I ended up before. Never mind. I'm pretty sure I landed. Yeah, I landed down there, but from the other side, so. Uh, I cannot walk down there, so. And there's no jumping, so. We're gonna go ahead and open this. Keep it moving. Right. So another uh, scribing of a different language, like four. But yeah, this is getting to the point where there's going to be a lot more areas where there are, um, where, say, where there is text that can be read. There's actually a, quite a bit of it. Uh, let's see, the mention of Dennis struck my heart. It made me burst into tears. I started to hyperventilate. Those who were m my three friends at the moment, at that moment, uh, t took me to out of the <laughs> took out of the cafe in Barcelona to get me some air. They took me to. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not gonna butcher it. <laughs> Park where Michael. I don't know. I'm not gonna read all of it. But uh, yeah, if you want to pause it. And, kind of, you know, you know, catch up on it, you're more than welcome to. I, I guess there's kind of a, a, a grammar discrepancy that's kind of throwing me off, so. Uh, but that's understandable. Um, a staircase which many wanderers try to climb. Hmm. Some make it, never return. That's interesting. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming they're referring to there, there's a there's a staircase that literally leads up to this tower that I have not been able to reach um, because I don't have enough power to uh, break the um, the power seal. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. I've got, I've got a lot more than I did before. Cause I think it's because I found more of these. It didn't give me the option to activate that portal before, so that, I think that might be what's holding it. That's very interesting. But to explain something before I delve into it a little further, um, I did actually, I was really searching around. And uh, I was like, man, what? I need more of these. Where can I go? You know, what can I, uh, what am I missing? And I, as you can see right here, there is actually a hole you can fall in. And, uh, you know, sadly, there's a whole bunch of those uh, uh, red cloaked um, figures in there that are kind of waiting to take you, take the claim of you there. Um, and like I said, it's not a huge deal, but literally every time you um, get snatched away down under, um, you have to go retrieve these orbs. I'm pretty sure of it. And sometimes it's not the easiest of uh, areas to retrieve it, retrieve it back. Uh, but then again, you know, if you die in another area, it'll be there. So, I, but I still need to confirm that um, that your count remains. Let's see, that looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and give it a shot. I don't know what it did, but I wasn't able to access it before. Uh, I guess we can only hope that, uh... Can I do it again? Oh. I think it really wants that... The remainder of the... Orbs I'm missing. But I want to... Kind of see... If it opened what I thought it did. Let's see. Let's go. But yeah, if I fall down in there, I haven't really found my way out. So... <laughs> without, uh dealing with that, so uh, I'd rather not, uh, unless, until I've known that I, it's, I, it's inevitable, I have to go down there and get the rest of these orbs from this one area, so, uh, let's see. yeah, I don't think it's going to let me do it anymore until, because there's something you just can't, you just can't reach, it's, it's annoying, I'd like to figure that out. figure I'd be close enough, but... Alright. Oh, we got another thing here. 88. Okay, so I'm not the only one... We're, we're not the only ones not able to uh, decipher or decode uh, the texts that uh, that we've seen before. Maybe maybe you get to a point where you can and you can actually go back and read them. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's able to be controlled right now. But lucky for us, there actually are a few more orbs that we can get access to, so... Um, before going down in the hole. <laughs> I'm really dreading doing that. Oh, okay, I was supposed to stand directly over it. I, I don't think there's any below me. Oh, there is, yeah. I just wonder there was, so... Got a little choppy there, but no biggie. Let's see if we got enough now. We do not. Hmm. Alright, so it looks like I may need to go ahead and do that. Uh, unless I can find a way up. Uh up there. Ooh, can I reach it from here? And how did I miss that first of all? Let's see. Oh no, it's another area.
<laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. So it is that time of the, <coughs> excuse me, the time of the year again with this lovely season of pollen, and it is crucial here in Atlanta, Georgia. <coughs> Apologies. <laughs> I'm really wondering if you can absorb like at, at greater distances too, because this is uh, it's making me think like really differently. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find a way out. I mean, because there is uh, I know there's a way out of here. I think what it was is I got greedy snatching all these orbs and kept taking the wrong direction and running into <clears throat> the red cloaked enemies. I wish I had a name for them, but <laughs> that's what I'm rolling with right now. Because the bad thing is trying to find your way out once you've encountered a... Uh, enemy. I believe there's one around this corner and you can kind of see and he saw me. Come on man, no! No! see it disappear. Interesting. But yeah, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Not a big fan of those guys. <laughs> Alright, so... And I think it's a dead end off to the left. I mean, once you collect the orbs down in that hole, I think... I think we're looking at a dead end, so. What I'd like to do is just, I want to see how long it'll take me to uh, at least retrieve my soul and find the way out of that area. That way I can, um, oh yeah, I think I died in here. Find the way out of this area <coughs> and get to that bridge. And um, I'll most likely stop there. And I think you got a good gist of, you know, um, kind of the, the how much this game, you know, and, and its its story, its lore is just shrouded in mystery. And, you know, you kind of unfold it as you go, which is, is cool. I definitely can appreciate that. same way I came before? Yeah, well, okay, it wasn't. Um, I'm curious now, because there may have been a way out of here that I just did not see before. Oh no, it's just... Oh. Well, look at that. so scared to hit these corners. <laughs> uh, I have not been over here. Now that I... Look at that. Oh, there's... There must be a new ability. It says I need like two of something. I definitely don't have enough. That looks so... Yeah. That's interesting. <clears throat> I bet you if I get all the orbs in this cavern, 
I'll uh, earn this these catacombs. <laughs> I'll be able to open that door. But once he starts chasing you, that's the problem. Go for it. Okay, so I've fallen down in here. This is interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Oh! Wow. Wow. So there's actually two... Okay, I have been down there before. That's, that's where I got attacked last time. I was lucky to actually get out as quickly as I did. So technically now, I don't really have to worry about <laughs> going, uh, getting back up the other way. I, but I, actually I do, because I think you have to, there's still a way to escape from there though. And he, they are not letting me get through there. He's just guarding that hole, like. Um, okay. So I need to work on a way to get back <laughs> without getting attacked. I think... <clears throat> But I also think sometimes you just, you still have to take that L. You still gotta take it. And I think it's a, it's a matter of coming to terms with that. <laughs> um, there's a few more areas of text here. I, I saw it, I just didn't want to spend too much time. So I'll, I'll give you a few seconds here to pause it if you need to. <clears throat> okay. I want up here too. Try not to fall off so you can see it. Okay. You know what? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's, I'm, it's, it's inevitable. I'm probably going to die trying to get back over there. Um, and if so, well, you know, we can end it there and kind of, uh, you know, if depending on, you know. Everyone that's interested in it, we will. Uh, I can definitely continue from here and do a let's play continuing forward. Oh my gosh, there's so many in here. There are so many of them. Oh, these sound effects aren't helping. Why is it locked? Why is it locked? Open this. Open it. Ah! Go 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 go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're 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 creeping up on an hour here. Um, we're at fifty three minutes or so. So, uh, yeah, um, Infernium, uh, Undercoders, Carlos Coronado. Thanks again uh, for providing the code to uh, go ahead and check this out. Um, actually, as it stands, I, d I definitely wouldn't mind uh, jumping back into this, uh, I guess, as views and likes permit. I'd be more than happy to go ahead and do some Let's Plays uh, continuing forward where we left off. Um, but yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate all the uh, support and continued support um, from all uh, 28 of my subscribers. <laughs> I uh, definitely appreciate it. It means the world. No, seriously, it really does. Um, thanks so much. Um, and, you know, definitely, like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and, yeah, thanks again.